Now you may not be aware, but Bibb County Schools has a hotline where parents or students can report bullying complaints. But does it work? One Macon mom feels her daughter's school is not doing enough about bullying. Pepper Baker spoke to both sides on this very hot issue. My child's only been in school for a month. The first day there was bullying. Um, and she's in special education. Nicole George is worried that her daughter's school isn't doing enough to stop bullying. I talked to a teacher about it. Nothing was done. Um, and then two more times, a little girl did the same thing where she kicked her and she fell to the ground. She's not alone. Many people have commented on our Facebook page with concerns about bullying in schools. Bibb County School District Chief of Staff Keith Simmons explains what happens after a complaint is made. We rely on the school to take that situation and investigate it based upon the information that's provided. One commonality is determining whether or not this incident involves bullying. He says they judge an act of bullying based on power imbalance, unwanted aggressive behavior, and repeated actions. Some complaints don't fall under those guidelines. We're finding that we're having to deal with a lot more as it relates to what may be perceived as bullying or what may be perceived as a concern or a dislike that has grown over time. He says the Bibb County School District is working to bring more awareness to the problem. Simmons says these signs are posted all over Bibb County Schools to encourage students to report any acts of bullying. I probably can't do justice with regards to expressing how serious we take bullying. Um, in many ways, it's, it's a matter of safety and security for our students and our staff. Simmons says the biggest way to help investigations is for the students to report any bullying they see. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. And Bibb County Schools urge students to call 478-779-3711 to report bullying. Again, that's 478-779-3711.